Hello, I'm Attila G. Horvat. Welcome to the YouTube channel of the AutoCAD Architecture Blog.com. In the previous video, I presented you how to create opening end cap and move doors along wall lengths. In this video, I'll present you how to add windows and corner windows. Now you can follow how to add windows. On the ground floor, the other windows are added from the casement window and then a window will be changed later to casement double. After it, corner window is placed as well. In this case, the width of the frame is raised from 50 mm to 100 mm afterwards. First, please change to the windows palette on the tool palettes and please search the casement tool icon. If you click on it, you can start the insertion of these windows. Before the first insertion, please go to the Properties palette and please turn back to the Design tab there if it is not active. After it you can set the following parameters of the new windows. Width value is 1000. Height value is 1600. Position along wall value is offset center. Automatic offset value is 500. Justification value is center. Vertical alignment is seal. Seal height value is 1000. Then please go back with the cursor to the drawing area and to comment prompt you can select the far left external wall. You can see that the window insertion starts. Please move the cursor slightly above the window to ensure that the dimensions input of 500mm wall offset displays at the top. When you see it, make a left click and insert the first window. The next is the window of the living room on the lower wall. If you work correctly, in the dimension input 4310mm is seen in both sides. Please note that it does not matter which side of the wall you click with the mouse. The swing direction of the window will be shown in that direction where you clicked. Of course it can be changed later anytime. Now please press enter to close the serial insertion of the windows. The width of the frame is desired to be increased to 100 mm. Please select one of the windows and start the edit style command from the contextual window tab of the ribbon. On the window style properties, please turn on the dimensions tab and override the value of the A width to 100 in the frame field. Finally, you can close the panel by pressing OK. You can see that the frame width of the casement window is raised. Please go out on the tool palettes and from the windows palette drag the drop the casement double window style in the drawing. Dragging the tool into the drawing area, you have to wait till the program loads the selected style to the current drawing and then you can ask to select the wall for insertion. Then please press escape to stop the inserting command. With this method, you have reached that you have this style windows in the drawing and any existing window can have this style as well. Now please select the window with a left click and on the properties palette you can set the width parameter to 1800mm. Please remember that the lower edge of the door, which was originally constrained positioned on the upper side, will move by narrowing.
please keep the selection and click in the cell next to the style parameter and from the drop-up menu you can choose the casement double style for the window. You can see you have not set the frame size of this style to 100mm yet, so please start the edit style command from the ribbon at the selected window. On the displaying window style properties panel, please turn to the dimensions tab and in the frame field please override the A white value to 100mm. Finally, please press OK to close this panel. The next window will be a corner window. Please go to the tool palettes, then to the corner windows palette and please find the corner frame picture window style. You can click on it to start the insertions of these windows. Before the insertion, please go to the properties palette and on the design tab you can set the following parameters. White 1 value is 1000, white 2 value is 1400, height value is 1600, vertical alignment value is sill, sill height value is 1000. After it, please go back with the cursor to the drawing area and to command prompt select the most left external wall. According to dragging the crosshair upper or lower from the wall midpoint, the corner window can be positioned in that corner. Then you can insert the corner window into the bottom corner and when it is positioned there, please make a left click. Please note that the white 1 value always applies on the selected wall, the white 2 will apply on the joined wall. Then you can finish the serial insertion of the corner windows by pressing Enter. In the following, the only thing you have to do to set the frame size of the window style to 100mm as well. According to one of the earlier learn methods, please go to the window style and set the white value to 100mm. Finally, the plan with the windows should look like in the figure. In the next series I show you how to modify door window assembly. If you like this tutorial, make sure you subscribe for more. If you would like to create the whole project of a two-story house with sheets and annotation, please buy the ebook which guides you step by step.